going to be doing some copper electroplating onto these little knives, these custom knives I made, screw knives. So I can plate them with gold. Probably be doing some ball bearings and other stuff as well. If I can. And stainless steel just not, does not plate well. Put the glove on. The action will start pretty much straight away. Yep, there we go. See the blade fizzing away. There we go. That's copper depositing onto the blade. Shouldn't be too long before that thing is caked. And probably that as well. So get a little bit more liquid in there, a little bit more electrolyte. Give it a good shake first. Ooh, that's green. <laughs> This is a, the full immersion method. I made this chlorate myself from that there piece of copper scrap. Nothing major. Reacting nicely now, as you can see. Mm. Bubbling viciously. Already seems to be some copper deposit in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's quick. Made a good chlorate. This is at quite a higher voltage, though. That there is being dissolved, which will add even more copper to this mixture. Extremely blue mixture. This can take a while. It can be kind of boring, but still interesting if you're into uh, electroplating. Yep, copper has already started to deposit there, as you can see. More on that side, seemingly. Seems to be doing quite well. Considering. I'll post the finished results in the thumbnail as I usually do. I'll end up looking like a penny. <laughs> Should do. Damn it, crocodile clip came off. There we go. I'm trying to get a better grip on it. Probably add a little bit more liquid. The water a bit deeper, the electrolyte, I mean. Ooh, that's had some sort of effect. Bubbling away. Even more fish. I 
I can see copper on the sides. Starting to deposit. Very good. You want to see how I made this chlorate? Check some out some of my other videos. So you can copper plate some stuff yourself using this same method. Fairly simple, and you don't need a massive chunk of copper like I'm using. Taking a little while. Which it will. Definitely not an instant thing. I don't know what this marking is here. Some sort of corrosion or something. I'm sure what. Maybe from water. Some sort of rust. Looks like that. Voltage mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. at Where's the voltage? What voltage it's going at? Also helps to check the clarity is all correct. Back to the knife. Starting to take on a slightly brassy colour, if you can see. Very thin film of copper on there right now. Glass stirring rod. Just agitate up some of this powdered sodium on the side. It's just salt. But bicarbonate, less toxic. Obviously, the glass doesn't react.
seems to slightly speed up the process. As soon as it's plated enough to show you, I'll finish the video anyway and post the finished results in the thumbnail. <clears throat> Give it about five more minutes, should start seeing results then. Not sure how else these things are going to plate them, ball bearings. Hopefully they'll plate. Cheat it some more. You can use a bubbler to do this. Like a little pond pump type thing if you've got a big enough immersion pool and enough chlorate. Strange looking. This is dissolving this part, if you can see. It's copper becoming liquid. Well, not liquid, chlorine. <laughs> Inner liquid, suspended. Uh -huh. to get a bit more coppery, I'd say. Definitely darker. Considering it looked something like that. All shiny. Starting to plate now. Plate one. You should probably use a switch mode power supply. Variable one, if possible. Will allow you to alter the voltage and the speed that this happens at. But the more liquid you use, the higher voltage you'll need. Lots of particles floating around in there. That happens. They're just bits of uncorroded copper that have fallen off this. Nothing to worry about. They will eventually dissolve.
I'll be wanting a nice thick plate as I'll be likely plating 22 karat gold over the copper which will be much much easier than plating directly onto stainless steel which requires special preparation and is not always successful not with small setups anyway Acquiring a nice layer of copper there, as you can see. On both sides. Not bad. Definitely use another 20 minutes, say, in there. But, as you can see, it's definitely plated. Plating. Well, until the next lateral plating, that looks quite nice. 